Good morning, everybody. It's Wednesday. It's coffee time. It's another great day. It's the weather started to break, so it's a little bit cooler here. It's actually raining. Kind of weird weather for 2021 December. Kind of weird. So it is the nearing the last day. I think it's what the 29th today. I took my uh, watch off. I was just doing dishes. Yeah, today's the 29th, only a couple more days. And we have a really cool and interesting coffee that we're gonna try today. So if you like what we do, make sure you hit that like and subscribe. It means a lot to us. Um, this is a first for me. This is a Bosnian uh, coffee. Uh, it says Bosnian roasted ground coffee. It's from, I can't say this name. The, it's a vis pack, so I think that means two pack. I don't know. But it's from uh, Prehumbriana Industria Food Industry, uh, Viesco, V I S O K O. Uh, I don't know. Never really gauged what it is. We were at a debate on how to make it. I thought it was going to be a ground coffee. Um, it is 100% Arabica, from what I could tell. I thought it was going to be a ground coffee, but it's more of a. Um, uh, very fine, almost Turkish style coffee, but we decided to put it in the mocha pot because Bosnia is right across from Italy, so we kind of considered that uh, they were all doing the same kind of uh, prep for coffee. So we're going to give this a try. <clears throat> it looks like it turned out pretty good. Uh, I think that if you put Turkish coffee in one of these, because it's so fine, it just like an instant coffee, it makes everything so icky, but this looks like it turned out perfect. Nice chocolatey brown color. Ooh, strong too, oh wow, and it's very hot. May not be able to drink it. Nice, strong, earthy, chocolatey, nutty coffee. It smells really good. <clears throat> and I don't know what makes Bosnian coffee different from any other coffee. I don't know what the roasting level is. Um, they don't give very much in English on this and their website is um, non-existent. <clears throat> so I don't know what the difference is. Ooh, there's a big difference. It's not like Italian coffee. Very nutty. Oh, very similar to Turkish coffee. So I may have made this wrong. If you've ever had this, um, and I'm gonna send this to some of my Bosnian friends. Um, if you've ever had this, tell me, should it have been made in a Turkish pot, you know, like instant pot or sh sh instant, like a, you know what a Turkish pot is. It's a, like the kettle, it's like instant coffee or should it have been made in a mocha pot and there's no way it'll be in a drip pot or a press pot. So it's one of those two. And who knows, there could be a, a Bosnian pot. I don't know, a Croatian pot, something like that. Very tasty. But I think I would add some uh, sugar, some uh, the natural uh, raw sugar to it. I'm not sure I'd add any creamer to it, but definitely some sweetener to it. Because it is very nutty, very uh, earthy with no sweetness at all. And so it does remind me a lot of Italian coffee, but I don't know. So tell us what you think. Uh, have you had it before? What's another region I should try? I've got some uh, coffee from uh, Asia coming up, which I'm really excited about. And I think I have covered everywhere in the South America. Has some specificity coffee. No, I've tried Brazilian, Colombian, so Austrian. Now Austrian, Australian coffee, we'll have to try that. So let us know what you think. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe. Check out all of our other videos Monday through Friday. And um, it's a very busy day today, as you might even be hearing some conversation going on. We got lots of things going on. So I'm gonna cut this video short and we will see you tomorrow for whiskey. Cheers.